welcome students today we are going to discuss 25 most important electrical mcqs on the topic electrical transmission and distribution so now what is the first question feeder is designed mainly from the point of view of which one so feeder is basically designed from the point of view of its current carrying capacity because feeder is basically feeding the current to the distributors so here option a the current carrying capacity is the correct answer okay So, what is the next question? The next question is basically distributors are designed from the point of view of which one? So, like unlike the feeder, the distributors are designed basically from the point of view of its voltage drop. Because distributors basically the portion of the distribution system which supplies the current to the consumers. And all the consumers must be supplied like this and all the consumers must have same voltage. Okay. So, we have to consider this voltage drop in the distributor so that we can assure that all the consumers will have same voltage at the point of supply. So that's why distributors are designed from the point of view of voltage drop. Okay. Now, what's the next question? What is the highest possible transmission voltage in India? It is a very well-known question and it has been asked in different examinations. In present day, the highest possible transmission voltage in India is 765 kV. So, option B is our correct answer. What is the question we will discuss now? The next question is, what is the main reason for using the high voltage for the long distance power transmission? So the main reason is basically the reduction in the transmission losses because you know when we transmit the voltage at a very high level in the level of 11 kV, 220 kV, 765 kV, the amount of current which is basically passing through the conductor is becoming very less. So with less current the transmission losses will be lower. So option A here is the correct answer. So what is the next question? Which of the following material used for manufacturing the ground wire? Means the wire which we can see in the transmission lines, generally we called it as overhead ground wire. It is made up of galvanized steel. So option B here is the correct answer. Okay. Now what is the sixth question? What is the main purpose of guy wire? So this is also can be seen in transmission lines. As you can see here, in this manner, with the transmission line, the guy wire is connected. So it basically supports the pole. So option A here is our correct answer. Means it supports the pole. Okay. Okay. Now let us go for the next question. The term service means refers to what? So service means basically comes under our secondary distribution system. That's why we can say that option D or option B here is our correct answer. Means secondary distribution system is basically giving us the service to our consumers. Okay. So now we go for the next question. So you can see the next question, the distribution transformer is generally connected in which form? Delta delta, delta star, star star, star delta. So for your information, it is always connected in delta star. Definitely there are some reasons why it is being used. As you see here, if we draw, so this is the delta connection that is the primary and the secondary is connected in star. So what is happening here? Due to the connection of the secondary star, the star point, that is the neutral point, is easily available. So from that single phase loads can be easily connected. So now what is the question? Which of the distribution system is used for domestic loads? 
So as you can see, it is a domestic load and already we know that the transformer is connected in delta star for the secondary distribution. So in the secondary, there are three phases and a neutral and each of the domestic load is being connected with two lines that is phase and neutral. So single phase two word system will be our answer. The next question is which type of earthing is used by transmission lines. So all these kind of earthings are very good but for transmission line the type of earthing which basically used is strip earthing. So option C here is our correct answer. Now this is the question is about the most severe fault on the power system. When three phase short circuit fault occurs, the maximum amount of current is being drawn from the source. So this is the most severe fault. So three phase short circuit fault that is option A here is our correct answer. Okay. Let us see the next question. The reactors are used at various locations in the power system too. Increase the short circuit current, avoid short circuit current, limit the short circuit current, none of this. Generally, these reactors are connected in series with the transmission line, which in turn basically increases the impedance of the line. So by increasing the impedance, what is happening? It reduces the short circuit current. So it basically used to limit the short circuit current. So here, for our question, the option C is the correct answer. Okay. So now the next question, the use of reactors permits the installation of circuit breaker of what type of rating? As you have already seen that with the use of reactors, uh, it can limit the current during the time of fault. So basically it helps to reduce the rating of the circuit breakers. Okay, so lower rating will be the answer. So option A here will be the correct answer. So now the next question. Reactors are connected in DAS with the power system. So already from the discussed questions, you can easily answer this. Uh, so it is basically connected in series with the power system lines. Okay. So option B here will be the correct answer. So now what is the next question? The next question is an isolator is designed to open in a circuit under which condition? So isolators are always operated during no load condition. So option B here is the correct answer. No load means when the circuit is not loaded, means no current is flowing through the circuit. This is the scenario when we can make the isolator open to disconnect the circuit from one part to another. Okay. So the option B here is the correct answer. So what is the next question? It is. Under the normal operating conditions, the contacts of the circuit breaker remains definitely closed. During the time of fault, only when it operates, it becomes open. Otherwise, it remains closed. So the next question, the circuit breaker performs the function of detection only, circuit interruption function only, both detection and interruption, none of the above. So relay basically detects the fault. So circuit breaker doesn't perform the function of detection. It basically interrupts the circuit. Okay. Now the next question. Which of the following device detects the fault in the power system? As already discussed, the relay is basically the device which basically senses the fault which has been occurred. So relay is the device which detects the fault in the power system. So option C is the correct answer. So now what is the next question? The relay operating coil is supplied through which one? So current transformer is the device through which the fault current is being given to the relay for sensing. So option B is the correct answer. What is the next question? Baku's relay is a gas actuated relay, oil actuated relay, either of A and B, none of these. So definitely Baku's relay is a gas actuated relay and it operates when due to some fault in a oil immerse transformer, gas is being produced and depending upon that, this relay is actuated. So what is the next question? The next question is, bus bar production means production of what? Actually, bus bar production includes all the bus bar production, circuit breaker production and isolating switches production. So option D here will be the correct answer. Okay. Now the next question, IS3043 code is for what? Earthing practices, high voltage equipment, circuit breakers. 
it is for earthing practices so you have to remember that is3043 code is for earthing practices so option a is the correct answer okay now the next question in a power system single line diagram is used to represent this three faults or balanced power system you remember that a single line diagram is used to represent a balanced power system faults generally cannot be represented by single line diagram so option d here is the correct answer now we we'll go to the next question the next question is overhead ground wires are used to protect a transmission line against what now basically overhead ground wires are connected at the top of the transmission towers now it is practically used to bypass the direct lightning strokes to the ground so you can see here if we take this as a structure of the tower the line i have drawn at the top of the tower is basically showing you the overhead ground wire so when lightning strikes it basically bypasses the lightning to the ground and protects the transmission line so option c here is our correct answer voltage surges due to direct lightning strokes next question is ladder logic program primarily consists of what so it is basically uh, you can see to be a part of our plc that is programmable logic control in this virtual relay contacts and coils is basically the answer okay means ladder logic program primarily consists of virtual relay contacts and coils which can shown to be as i am showing here so this kind of arrangement is there where normally open normally closed contacts are there but you have to remember that virtual relay contacts and coils is coming under this so if you like the video kindly subscribe to the channel thank you thanks for watching